2021 Belgian Invitational here at Griffith Park with Lalo Diaz, head coach of Loyola High School. Currently the varsity race is going on with the B team. Earlier we had the Doug Speck sweepstakes race. Loyola dominated. Gap to 29 seconds for your scoring five. Richard Moreno won race again, 15.03 and change. Um, how did things go from your perspective? I know this is a meet you guys really look to dominate this year, of course. Uh, we always use this race as an indicator. It's our, our, our prelude to our, our second phase, what we call second phase, which is starting the hills in preparation, especially this year, in preparation for Mount Sac. Uh, before, when we had Riverside, it wasn't as crucial to, to prepare, but uh, this is the, kind of the barometer that we use to say, okay, now we enter into phase two, getting ready for what we have ahead of us. So yeah, it, it, to that extent, this, this becomes a very important race, uh, just internally. So even more so you're saying because now postseason is at Mount Sac, we turn there? Uh, yeah, absolutely. The importance of, of uh, acclimating to the hills as opposed to the, the, the speed of Riverside. Uh, yes, I think it is very important to, to get them familiar again with that, that double hit that, that uh, Poopot Hill will give you, Reservoir at the end where everyone's exhausted. Uh, it, there's a physical and more importantly a mental preparation for that. So this year, Loyola moves to Division One, and there's three very good teams, yourselves, Great Oak, and of course, Newberry Park. Uh, today's performance, what did you think? Well, our goal has always been to be under 30 seconds, one to five, and 45 seconds, one to seven. Uh, we're taking steps in that direction, uh, and we know what's in front of us. At Newberry, they're, they're at a whole other level. Great Oak, you know, we're honored just to be whispered in that same circle with, with, with them that you know they have such a deep deep tradition and uh, we're just we're just trying to be within that you know that circle of competition. So Great Oak in Loyola, I mean you mentioned the, 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 the 30 second gap you guys shoot for uh, for your top five. Great Oak traditionally has a great pack. This year you guys have potentially some front runners. What do you see in terms of the head-to-head -head matchup in terms of the formulas you both teams have, how do you stack up in your opinion? You know, as you compare the two teams, you take their first man, our first man, second man, and I think there are two vulnerable areas for, for I would presume, both teams. The front runners and that key fifth and sixth. Can, can our sixth displace someone's fifth man? And that's always the key. So you have to look at the, the front end and what I call the back end of the, the, the fifth, sixth, and seventh, and the responsibility of the fifth, sixth, and seventh man, and that is that of displacing you know your opponent's fifth man. So I think that's what's going to make a difference when it comes down to a showdown like that. So I know in the summertime, I'm talking with some of the kids, one of their big goals, or the big goal collectively as a team, one of them was to also make it to NXN and compete at the national stage. The word broke yesterday officially that meet has been canceled. Once you guys found out, what was your message to the team and what was the refocus? You know, it's, it's, it's the world we live in now. You know, COVID-19 has changed everyone's mentality as to what could have, might have, should have. And I think that's, that's step one in becoming just, you know, as I tell them, we have to face life with our big boy pants on. And, and, and that's one of the things that life will, will throw at you. You know, uh, when you go on to college and you know, if you, you're, you're facing the MCATs, you know, you're facing the bar exam, whatever. Life is never dictated there as you want it. Uh, it'll throw you uh, curves, and it's how you adjust to that in life. And this is, uh, you know, a good practice for the young men who are 16, 17, 18 years old that, yes, their, their plans very well not may not unfold as they thought they would. And that's part of, of just maturation and, and, and what's waiting for them in what I call the real world. All right, uh, next big step for you guys? Mount Sac, we have uh, obviously our cluster meets, but uh, Mount Sac would be the showdown because I, I would I would assume that you know we're going to have all the top teams that that will be a good more than better uh, preview to the state meet, and we look forward to be representative in that that meet, and uh, hopefully we'll we won't disappoint. Individually, last question, Richard Moreno, you know, one again your front runner, Harrison Labor had a good race today. Thoughts on your team individually? Individually, I, I think the consistency of Rich Moreno is was helping us because we have some kids that are still on the mend. Uh, Shane, uh, Shane. Uh, Dylan Bissell being one of them. Sorry, uh, and he's he's coming along, coming along, and you know he's been he's been bothered by that tweaked ankle, and and uh, you know it's it, it's taken a while, but uh, we hope that 
you know, with the time that we have in front of us, that he'll you know, he'll come back and then join that uh, one-two punch that we had earlier in the season. All right, great. Well, Diaz, again, Loyola High School. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you.